This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I'm doing a design team video for May May Made It, and we're doing something for Easter, but it could also be a spring theme. This stamp set is called Hair Peaking, so let's get started. This is such a fun stamp set, and let's just take a look at it. And it's so cute because it has little bunnies for Easter. It also has um, a bow and a bow tie. You got the bunny footprint. I'm gonna be using the carrot um, in my project today, and I'm gonna be using this cute little bunny right here, but it's got some sentiments. I'm gonna be using the Happy Easter for the inside of my card, but it has some really funny uh, sayings on here. You're irresistible. Um, you've got spring greetings. Did you hear about it or did you hear? Hi, honey bunny. I'm all ears and good hair day. So I think this is a really fun stamp set and I hope you like this project. This card size is going to be an A2 size card, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'll put everything that I use for this project below. Um, I really had a hard time picking out which paper I should use. Um, I'm gonna use the green card base, but look how pretty this pattern paper is. And this is from um, MayMayMadeIt.com. It's the Echo Park paper. It's called Hello Easter, so it's perfect. But all of the papers are beautiful in here. Let me just show you what it looks like. Look at the patterns in this. So pretty. Look at that. I'm really loving these. So I'm going to have a good time with this paper pack. Look at the Easter eggs on there. Could you imagine all the embellishments you can make too? Look at that little... Easter chicks, more bunny rabbits, and then this is a two-sided paper, and this is this is 24 double-sided. It's a 65-pound card so stock, so it's pretty sturdy. Look at this this paper right here. I really was tempted to use that um, for this project, but I love it. Look at these. You can use cut out these strips and make borders, or you can just um, you can use these in your embellishments. Some of them have sayings on it. I'm really loving it and it matches the paper. So lots of things for making your cards where you don't have to figure everything out. Look at that, I love this right here. Imagine matching this up with some of the paper in here, some of the strips here, and you can pull a card together in no time. So it's all figured out because everything just blends well together. Loving it. And here, these two for card making. So if you don't want to stamp out, you can use these as sentiments in your cards or on your cards on the front or inside. Works either way. And look at that pink. I really love this. So just to give you an idea of what's available in here, and I will list this below as well so you can see it. But this is the Hello Easter paper pad. Okay, so I'm gonna do my artwork on this. Um, I've got two pieces, one for the inside, so let me go ahead and put that on the inside here. Because it's gonna be a little bit too dark, um, that green, to write on, so I'm just gonna put something on the inside. And this one, I'll be doing my sentiment and stamping out first the carrots. So I'm going to use this larger carrot on here. And I love using some of the um, smaller stamps when I'm doing this because I can actually stamp out several of them and make a pattern. So I'm going to line this up right on here. And I'm going to use my Memento ink because I'm going to color them in. I've got my um, orange and green markers that I'm going to use as well for this. And I'm going to use one of my, um, these are my Tumbo markers. And I'm going to use this Copic because I do want to uh, color in my 
bunny and I'm trying to match up some of the paper that I'll be using. To me, this paper kind of matches with that. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm going to meet, be creating a pattern going right across with the carrots. And so I'm just going to stamp these right across starting. This is going to be the bottom of my paper here. So let's see if you can see that. I just want to have a bunch of them going straight across here. So you'll see in a moment what I'm talking about. But I thought it would be fun to try something like this. I had this idea in my head for a while when I saw this stamp set. So when you have those little stamps and you're not sure what to do with them, create, create a pattern. So I'm trying to get them uh, kind of close together here and kind of lined up okay on this. And so far so good. This is a good way to practice your stamping too. Let's see. Right here maybe. Okay, and I'm gonna do another one on the side there. Even though it might come off the page, I'm gonna do another one right here. And I'm okay with that. I think it'll still work. Right there, see? So it still worked out, came off the page a little bit, but guess what, it's okay. So I am going to go ahead now and just wipe this off and I'm just using uh, a baby wipe. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and color these in. And sometimes I might, my stamping may not come out perfect and that's okay. So I usually just take a, a black marker and just kind of fill it in, just like that. See, problem solved, right? <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna, now for the coloring. So I'm gonna go ahead and color these in, have fun with it. My little carrots here, and that's why I'm going to use this green. And I'm be, I've been using my Tumbo markers. I love the way these things are, and I love the way um, the colors are so vibrant. And so this is just relaxing. Have fun with doing all of this. And so I'm just going to go ahead and color in all of these carrots. Because I want a card that's nice and bright. Bright colors for spring season. So I'm going to go ahead and color these in. And I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And I'm going to go ahead and put the green top on here. Sorry about the plane flying overhead. Okay, and look how adorable that looks. Just the creating that pattern over and over again really, really helps. Okay, so now I've got this ribbon on clearance. And I thought it was just so pretty. Look at look how pretty that looks. And it was from Hobby Lobby, 60 cents for this. And I said, you know what? I love the colors and I'm gonna use it. I've been trying to maybe use more ribbons on my cards. Look how adorable that is. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. Because I'm gonna stamp some bunnies right around the top here. So let's cut that down. Yeah, I think that'll work, let's see. 
and I'm just going to use some uh, regular scotch tape to adhere that. I'm just going to turn it over like this, let's say, get that lined up real good. Just using some regular tape to hold it in place. Okay, once I know where I want it, I'm just turning it over and putting some tape right down there. And let's see. I'm going to just put just a tiny bit of this so it'll adhere. Let's put that right along there. Keep it straight. See what I'm doing? Just taking some of my crafter's tape to adhere it. And then just put another piece of tape right there. Yeah, so get those ribbons if you ever feel like you want to kind of add something else to your card and it might be missing something. Why not add a ribbon? Okay, so let's go ahead and take this cute little bunny and I'm going to put it on here and I really need this to line up because I want to have it where it falls at a good place in my car. I want it to just kind of line up almost like he's peeking out above the ribbon. Okay. I'm going to stamp him out in black, but you can use um, some other color inks if you want to kind of have fun with it. But I'm going to be coloring him in, so I want him to have that black border around it. So let's see. I'll put one in the middle first. So I'm not going to come right on the ribbon, but I want to kind of make sure I'm... I'm stamping right above it, almost like he's peeking out. So look how cute that looks. Put one on the side. Yep. Okay, and if you look, I tilted, when I stamped in my on my stamp pad, I tilted my block just a little bit. And so I'm just going to clean that up by just wiping it a little bit here around, along the sides so that if I happen to tilt it on my paper, I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to mess up my, my white paper. So I just clean that, those sides off. And then I'm gonna just stamp straight on. And so you wanna make sure you don't tilt your block. Otherwise um, your stamp won't come out as crisp and you might end up messing up your stamp. So you want to just press it straight on without tilting your block. Yep. And see, look how pretty that looks. Aren't they adorable? Okay, so I'm going to take, uh, let's see, we can add some color to that. I'm going to take some of the blue out of this ribbon. And I happen to have a blue um, pen. Now this blue... Uh, gel stick is also in in May May store it comes in a pack it's like a set I think of eight but I'll, I'll um, put it below but these are so cute especially for coloring in those tiny spaces it has that fine point on it and you can really get in those little spaces and to me these little little enhancements really um, help so look, I just put the blue on on the nose, and that looks so cute. I wish I hope y'all can see this um, on camera because this looks so adorable so far. And I'm hoping that you're getting some ideas and you're really liking this. Okay, so I'm going to take this now, and this is uh, one of my Copics. It's one of the lighter colors because I just wanted to have that blush uh, pink color. And this this is actually called blush. There you go. Okay, and so I'm going to just kind of color in just the ears here. Just adding a little bit of color right in here. And 
let's put some right here too. Yeah, we could do that. Right? That ties in a little bit more color. Brings out some color in the ribbon too, because there's a little bit of pink in there. Yep, this is perfect. Look at that. Let's do this one. Adorable. And I made a, a few other bunny cards for ideas. I'll show you those at the end so you can um, get some inspiration from those. I'm really loving this stamp set. Look how adorable that is with the carrots and everything. Oh my goodness. I am really loving this. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of that blue out of this and I'm just going to do, yep, you got it, some blue stitching. I know. <laughs> just across the top here. All right, and let's see what else we can do with this before I, I think this is enough. This looks good. I think once we put this on, it's gonna tie everything together. Yep, that's going to look so, oh, look how cute that looks. And I don't, I'm not going to put a message on the front. Um, if I want to, I could probably put a raised message somewhere in here. I'm going to leave it like that. And so in, on the inside, I'm going to do something and put my message. I normally don't do that. I usually write something in. But I know many of you um, asked me how I would decorate the inside. So I'll show you how I'll do that. This is so adorable. I can't stop looking at it. Okay. So on the back, let's uh, let's adhere that. I could use my um, my art glitter glue, but I think I'm just going to use this. This is such an adorable card. And it's a great card for spring, too. And this is perfect for Easter, also. And this card is not very difficult, where you can make a bunch of these. And so look how pretty it looks with that, that patterned paper on the back. And then I'm going with a solid green. I'm going to add it to this. So cute. Okay, and so now if you want, you could either mount it by using some of your um, mounting tape or you can just have it lay flat on the card. I think I'm going to go ahead and mount this. Look how pretty that paper looks. Let's go ahead and mount this on here. pull these off with my hands just because I can't get to my um, my quick stick I usually use the other side of my other end of my quick stick and just kind of pop that off so that I don't have to use my nails you know sometimes I ruin my manicure just by pulling that off And I'm just using the uh, mounting tape uh, from Dollar Tree. Um, I try to pick up as many as I can if I find it. Uh, but it's pretty popular, so sometimes they're out. But you can find those in the hardware section, actually. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and mount this on. I just want to make sure I get this right. I think that extra added dimension just does something for this card too. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. Adorable. Isn't that cute? Okay, so on the inside now, I'm just going to put a um, Happy Easter sentiment on there. Let's see. I like to put my stuff right back in here in the case because I tend to lose it with all the stuff on my desk. So once I wipe it off and it's dry, I just pop it right back in there. And that keeps them protected and it keeps them from getting dust on it. So let's go ahead and use the Happy Easter sentiment. So if you want to turn this into a spring card, you could put spring greetings on there too. And I'm just going to pop this on here. And I like these blocks um, because they have the grid on it. So the grid kind of helps you keep stamped straight, basically. It's like a guide for you. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the inside. And I could still write a message in here too. And you see I just tilted it in my on my stamp there. My stamp pad. Not focusing, that's what it is. Okay, and I'm going to stamp it right on here. Okay. Okay, so once I did that, I can also go back now and grab this little stamp right here, the little feet. Little bunny feet and put it on this little tiny block. And I just think this is so adorable. So I'm just going to do some repetitive feet on there. So this is how I would decorate it if I had to, <laughs> the inside. I don't normally do this, but you can. the inside can be just as decorative as the outside if you want it to. You just don't want to put too many embellishments in there just because you're going to be closing the card. And look how adorable that is. And so if you want, another thing you can do is add some some stitching just giving you some ideas because I know some of you had no idea what to do with the inside of your card so I just I'm gonna take that extra time to show you And you could do this separate. You don't have to, you can actually do this first, decorate this first, and then glue it in um, if you want to. Just in case you make a mistake and have to start over again. It's not already in the card, but I'm just kind of doing this a little bit backwards here. But yeah, you want to just decorate. If you're going to decorate the inside and have like one of these inside here, um, just go ahead and do that first and then attach it to the inside. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, and let's see what we can do. Um, something else, just trying to give you a couple of ideas here. Something else you can do is, uh, let's put one of the bunnies on the inside. Yeah, that's what we'll do. You see, I'm putting this back in because I didn't, these clear strips can really get lost somewhere in here. So I just want to make sure I got that in there. Okay, and Maybe we can take one of these, let's see. Yeah, I think that will work. We'll have him kind of peeking out off the side there. I think that'll that'll be cute. Did 
can go the other way here, just like that. And see, I'm using my grid because he's peeking out of a corner. So I'm just kind of using my grid there to do this. Okay, and then I'm going to just press him right into the corner here. See what happens with that. And it's perfect. So you see what I did on that one? Just giving you a few ideas here. All right, and let's color him in. Kind of match him up with what's on the outside there. You can match his buddies on the outside, he or she. To use that fine point here. Let's see. Okay. And I think I did these right here. Yep. And I think I'll do right around here for this. So there's a lot you can do with these cards. Just giving you a few ideas. And a little bit of blue on the nose there. Yep. And he's done. So now if I want to have a coordinated one, I can have one just kind of peeking this way, going downward. But I think that's super cute. And look at that. And so I hope this gave you some ideas. Let me show you the other one that I did. I've got more than one of these. Here's the way it looks. Here's the inside. So I just had the feet kind of going across the page there. Just like that. So there's so much you can do with these, but these are super cute. Look, if you can make a set and this could be your official cards for um, for that for Easter 2018. Here's another one I did. Let's see. Let me just make sure you can see that. And this one says spring greetings and I colored it. Had fun coloring in these bunnies and putting a little happy feet in there too. And so I haven't put a sentiment on the inside yet, but look how cute that is. Just giving you some ideas. And I got carried away and did another one. I tell you this set is so fun. And just made the cat, use the carrots as a border and then did the bunnies. And here's the bunny looking over the sign here. But so super cute. So let me let you see how all of this looks together. I am really loving the way these came out. And I used my baker's twine on this too to just kind of tie it into the card there and make a bow on the side. So that's just another idea. Use some of your pretty baker's twine and look how adorable these are. And don't forget, um, there is also a um, stamp of the month club that may may made it has and I'll put the link to that below as well I hope these cards inspired you I hope wherever you are that spring is somewhere in the air and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you real soon bye